Hey, we're the Black River Rebels. I'm Wade, the singer. Uh, I yell into a microphone mostly. I don't know if you call it singing. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Nine out of ten critics agree. I am Brad. I play drums. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Disaster, and I fuck shit up. And blow shit up. Yes. And blow shit up. And play bass sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I play a bass. lot of salads. JJ, who are you, man? I'm JJ. I play guitar. Hang out with these guys. Both guitar players are on the same <laughs> side. <laughs> they might get in a fucking fight or something. Don't judge Don't put them that close to each other, Jesus. Don't judge us. Yeah, I'm Robert. I play guitar and kick ass. <laughs> Suck wainers. I heard cats. <laughs> Catch oh, this is going to be uh, just a really fun list. <laughs> you uh, like none of from us know here, each other from before. here to here. <laughs> Probably like social distortion and uh, cool shit like that. We can cut that part out though, right? Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> fuck no, we can't cut that part out. I, um, I'm a huge fan of uh, the Mars Volta and Black Sabbath. Those are two totally opposite ends of the spectrum, so that shows a little bit of the weird places I go to with my musicality. Like everything from like <clears throat> Motley Crue and Pantera. Like mainly Motley Crue and Pantera. I guess <laughs> my favorite two Have things. you ever heard of other bands? Yeah, man, a bunch <laughs> of them, yeah. That's, That's what's exist. great about our band is we're all so different. Like, I grew up listening to Roy Clark and Jerry Reed and Chet Atkins and, uh, you know, Alvin Lee 10 years after. And, but, you know, we have things in common but we're also different from the backgrounds we come from. It, it, the Black River Rebels, that's what makes us who we are, is the diversity coming together with chemistry. I like, uh, let's see, Willie Whalen, Sabbath, uh, Mike Patton. Trent, Trent Reznor. Slayer, not its nails. <laughs> this dude is <laughs> Trent Reznor. <laughs> Super <laughs> Like <laughs> we'll have to learn that one. I don't know any Lady Gaga. I don't yeah, listen to you. Gotta I don't listen to shit like that. Learn today. <laughs> it's like a dignified hell bat that just graduated some kind of hell high school and just flew right up out of hell. The hell that, that and it just chewed like eight pounds of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> before it rose up. <laughs> Which before we don't endorse it. I'm, I'm just sorry, sorry if the Matt breaks. does. <laughs> no, uh, it's like a time machine that brings you back to when rock and roll was cool. Yeah. yeah. All I can say is energy. It's a ton of energy, and I don't even know where we get it because we're old. Some of us are much older than the others. But, it is um, like riding a Hellcat in a battle. <laughs> yeah. It's just fun. Limited. It's not even like we rehearse doing like, such things I either. shoot it's a bow and arrow on the uniform. uniform. Um, <laughs> and hit a target at like what is 600 yards? He's very fast. Miles, probably. Yeah. It's a fast unicorn. <laughs> oh, God. Can I tell this one? Can I? Can, just briefly. Oh, uh, man, right, there's man, a man. lot. Yeah. I'm just never mind. I, there's some of them we can't tell. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. Uh, I, I can't really. I've been known to partake in some strange behavior in the, in the uh, <laughs> shower rooms of uh, the Fillmore and what was that guy's name? Other Flaming. <laughs> Flaming ping pong balls. Yeah, yeah lighting shit on, light fire. on fire. He's um, not a power per se, he bathroom. just loves fire and flames. I mean, <laughs> chicks. Of course. All right, here's one that you could probably use. Uh, we were playing with Jackal at the Ritz in Raleigh, and for some reason, Jackal, the guys, took it upon themselves to draw a couple phallic images, and when I say a couple, a couple? I mean like a hundred. <laughs> On it was like a tour of every prank. Flat surface. It was a tour of prank on us, on and it was all in good fun. They even went as far as to, there was a paper towel roll. They pulled the paper towel roll down, and on each single strip, drew a phallic image, and then roll it back up in there. So we get in there, we only noticed a couple of them. Like now, the not, not them on walls or anything. They're all on stuff that can be thrown away. But um, we leave, you know, we laugh it off or whatever. We the backstage leave. rooms, though, I need to point out, were like insanely nice. Oh, they were like, super nice. We had their Actually, backstage room was right beside ours, and um, we had like catering and there was food mm -hmm. and shit. Vanity mirror for me to put um, on makeup. There was like 130 dicks. Literally yeah. and everything. <laughs> they drew 
the file like images. So what happened was and we leave and we get a call from the stage manager uh, at the Ritz, and Man, she's basically hell. telling us that we'll never play there again. That we were all really nice and respectful, except for this one thing that we vandalized their dressing room with all these <laughs> phallic images. Well, and this is a live nation venue, so like they own like the greatest venues around the United States, so you don't want to get banned from them, but. <laughs> Not only were, did we play a Live Nation venue that night, but we were on our way to the next city Somewhere and the next Live Nation venue Don't that day to play another show with it with which Yeah, and they called ahead to warn them. Yeah, yeah. And we, when we got there, the first thing they brought up to us was this little issue. Luckily, he knew the guy. Um, he used to play in a band. Their band yeah. played together or something. But he came to us and he was like, I know this might sound silly, but I want to give you a heads up that this was an issue. Like, I just want to make sure there's not a problem. We were all laughing. We told him what was going on. It's a stage. Or it, was a, it was a prank. It's a tour prank. Bands do that to each other. So, Turns out there, there was a lot more images than we knew we of. We didn't know yeah. about all of them. Uh, there <laughs> were some, like, they had flipped the tables upside down and drew in permanent marker on yeah. the bottom of some of the tables. And I don't know, man. I don't condone the... Uh, I did take the, <laughs> the shitter <laughs> lid off, though, and, and upper That's decker that thing <laughs> with a Black River Rebel sticker. Yeah. I did do that. <laughs> yeah, we almost lit a place on fire. Yeah. Well, we did light it on fire. Yeah, it just, we, we were able to out, put, put the out. fire out. Out of general uselessness? You guys Probably don't even understand how crafty I am. <laughs> I'm gonna hide in the woods and plan on eating them one at a time. Just that's what I've been planning this whole time. <laughs> had this day and I'm still gonna <laughs> eat you bastards. I'm gonna I'm make a part sure if I don't. Uh, disaster would win. Disaster would uh, win. Yeah. He would yeah, he'd kill me with But the good thing about yeah, disaster he is he would want friends to spend that money with and he'd invite us back to the island. Yeah. And then and we'd knows? be dead. Yeah, then, we yeah. would not survive. We'd have a part trip. We'd escape that bad. <laughs> I think it's shit. It's well, total shit. it depends. You gotta look under a rock to find the good stuff. Um, there is some good you know, stuff. There. The radio, yeah, unfortunately, it's hard, hard to find. I mean, you're kind of giving these same things over and over again. It's all top forty, and it's because the masses want to listen to that stuff they know, the popular stuff that they can sing along to. But yeah, there's well, like, just the did. same regurgitated <clears> stuff. <throat> other than yeah. like two different bands a year, it's always it's the still same stuff. it's still mm -hmm. the same stuff they were playing when I was in high school. Yeah, it's yeah like, there's always the Stone Temple Pilots, Nirvana, Metallica. And you know, and sadly, it's not through, just yeah. all the radio. It's not their fault necessarily. It's what people think they want. Like that, it's popular it's demand, and that's how it goes. But you know. We'd be certainly happy to be played on the radio. You have to um, get out and see shows. Yeah. You have to go out and watch your bands because the way it is now, you know, it's like it was old school when Elvis and Johnny Cash and all them were doing their thing. You know, they played festivals and go out and get in front of these crowds and they made friends. And, you know, things are kind of cycling back around where people are bored, their attention spans are about that big. So you got to give them something. You're straight off the bat with a brand and something very loud in their face. And but it's getting people off their rump to actually get out and uh, off their phones. See yeah. shows, yeah. It's man. Too. It's it's a weird world now to to be a rock and roll dude. We've got some really amazing talent here in Greenville, Anderson. This whole surrounding. Well, I thought area. you were talking about me. No, <laughs> no, you know, with the exception of Brad, everybody else around him is talented. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, you can find our music. We have four music videos out on YouTube. Uh, right now we're in the middle of filming a brand new music video for Maxi well, Driver dudes. with Brando Jones Films. Yes, these dudes. And I'm not just blowing smoke because they're in front of us and we want to look cool for them, but this video, the stuff we've seen is mind blowing. It's so good. Very like, nice. Can, like we can't wait to unleash it on you. Um, it's <laughs> movie quality. You're not going to believe what we're creating with these guys. Very yeah. top show. It's the biggest production, yeah, video-wise that we've done. So for current music videos on YouTube, you can find every bit of our music, our first full albums on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play. Every streaming site has it. We've got yeah, anything three you or four think brand of, new singles from the new album we've got out already. Um, you can find us everywhere. Look for We're like Black Lisa. River Rebels. Black River Rebels. Incessant buzz 
rising from the clean work of bees will find no rest. 